Hello YouTube, it is your boy, ah, B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. Today, we're not doing horror like we have been. We're actually doing something a little bit different. Still monsters, though. <laughs> Jack the Giant Killer from 1962. Yes, we will also be doing the Asylum one, so hit that notification bell, subscribe. Uh, but Jack the Giant Killer is a film I've wanted to watch since I was a child because there is a trailer for it on Fantastic Dinosaurs of the Movies. Uh, which I think is called Jurassic Dinosaurs of the Movies now. I don't know why they changed the title, but Fantastic Dinosaurs of the Movies. I have a VHS and DVD copy. It's basically a little documentary and then a bunch of monster movie trailers for, like, more dinosaur-type monsters. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's got four and a half stars on Prime Video, uh, 6.4 on IMDb, it's an hour and 36 minutes, from 1962, um, it's family friendly, it's a fun family adventure film, a farm boy turned knight must protect a princess from the schemes of an evil wizard, directed by Nathan Geron, starring Kerwin Matthews, Judy Meredith, and Torin Thatcher, uh, it's an action drama fantasy adventure film, um, Supporting actors Walter Burke, Don Bedeau, Barry Kelly, Dayton Lemus, and Anna Lee. Uh, the studio is United Artists, and you can stream it for no additional cost with your Prime Video subscription. Uh, it was very fun. Uh, he gets the name Jack the Giant Killer by, of course, killing a giant and saving the princess. Spoilers from this point on, by the way. And that's the only giant he kills in the entire film. He kills one giant in Jack the Giant Killer. But there are multiple giants, don't worry. Then he's taking the princess away so Pendragon can't get to her. Um, and the ship is attacked by the Witches of the Wind! They don't call him that in the film, but that's what they call him in the trailer. Uh, the Witches of the Wind. And they kidnap the princess and take her to the castle. Jack goes to the castle. He has to fight some, like, dragon warriors. And he has to uh, face Pendragon's magic. And he gets a leprechaun to like give him some magical wards to help defend him against these things. Because a normal human just wouldn't have been able to stand up to Pendragon's magic at all. And then uh, he escapes with the princess at some point, And a two-headed dragon is sent after them. Not dragon, I'm sorry. Two-headed giant is sent after them. The giant... Um, <laughs> the giant uh, isn't defeated by Jack. It's defeated by a sea monster. And uh, then they go away on the boat. Pendragon shapeshifts into a wyvern and attacks them. And Jack does kill Pendragon as a wyvern, which is technically a giant creature. Normal size for a wyvern, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and that's basically all the adventure stuff that happens in the film. There are some more things. I don't want to tell you every single detail. Uh, like there's some stuff that happens to the princess and other things, but, uh, yeah. Um, uh, but Nathan Geron, the director, also directed The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, which also starred Kerwin Matthews. So that's two of these stop-motion adventure films directed by the same person starring the same person. Um, Ray Harryhausen did not do the stop-motion animation for this. The stop-motion for this is quite good. Whoever did it was very talented. I don't remember who did it uh, off the top of my head. But they are very talented. But you can tell it's not Harryhausen because the armatures don't look near as good. Ray Harryhausen did a great job with, like, musculature and anatomy. Uh, which, uh, because when he was studying under Willis O'Brien, Willis O'Brien was like, your stegosaurus's legs look like sausages. And Willis O'Brien told him to study biology and anatomy so that his armatures would look more realistic. And the giants and stuff in this film, they just, their bodies look so weird because they're, they're just like straight arms and there's no like muscles or anything. And then the sea monster that fights the two-headed giant, it like doesn't even have room in its body for organs. Uh, it's not a very good looking sea monster. It wasn't in the trailer, so I was presently surprised to see it. Uh, these old movie trailers are kind of infamous for showing you almost everything. Like, yeah, like Pendragon turning into the Wyvern is in the trailer. And having the Wyvern in the trailer and Pendragon in the trailer is fine, but that transformation revealing he was the Wyvern would have been nice to 
Yeah, like, I knew a lot of the stuff that was going to happen in this film just because the trailer was like, See, the witches of the wind! Jack fights the two-headed giant. Uh, and Jack doesn't fight the two-headed giant at all. He just runs from it. Yeah, he doesn't fight it at all. He just fights the first giant at the beginning. The giant at the beginning looks just like Ray Harryhausen's Cyclops, almost. Except it has two eyes, like, for real. But it is the same director, so... As Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Uh... And it's, it's just such a fun... I would call it a classic. It's it's very good. I think it's underrated. Um, it's a very fun family fantasy adventure film. If you have kids, I think they'll love this film. I would have adored this film as a kid because I love the Ray Harryhausen Sinbad films as a child. I ate them up, and I still do to this very day. I wish I would have seen this as a kid because I think it would have been just as impactful on me as those were. Like, this is just as fun as the Ray Harryhausen Sinbad movies. It's just as good. Uh, maybe not as good as Seventh, uh, but it's as good as Eye of the Tiger and The Golden Voyage. Easily. Yeah. Not as good as Seventh, though. Seventh is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's good. Um, but yeah, Jack the Giant Killer, 1962, is a must-watch for fantasy and adventure fans. Uh, if you're into stop motion and monsters, this is a great film for you. It's got several monsters, ton of monsters. Uh, and I really, really did love it. And Pendragon probably should have won, to be completely honest. Uh, <laughs> Pendragon overpowered Jack so much. And the Leprechaun could only help him three times. That was like a condition of the Leprechaun's help. And, like, once Jack got to the castle, there's like a whole population of witches on the island, and they just, like, didn't even fight Jack. And it's like, there's a whole population of witches? They could have taken out Jack so easily. That's funny. But... Yeah, it's Jack the Giant Killer 1962. Very fun family film. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Next time, we're probably going to do Lord of Tears, a.k.a. The Owlman, a film I have wanted to watch since before it even came out. Hoping to get that to you soon. But that's it. Thank you all once again for your support, and I'll see you all next time.